Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 9, Thoughts, Ye Who Enter Here, and another episode I love, spoilers for anything MCU leading up to, and including this episode, no spoilers for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered, and uh, let's see, yes, so the top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the site after Strikers, and I implore you to do so, and then there are some links to videos that will help explain why this is such an important strike. So. Let's dive into the episode. So yeah, we open on a dream sequence, basically, like, Sky, you know, we, we get a sense of, like, her mind state, you know, feeling, feeling abandoned, for example. Was she wearing a flower dress in it? Maybe there's a connection between her and Reyna there since they were both you know one of them's the actual child of Z Zabo oh right he's not in this episode uh, hmm. yeah Dr. Z let's go with that you know one of them's the actual child and the other was taken in by him and Mac is worried, you know, about Bobby and Lance, and yeah, makes sense, and Fitz misses the social cue as usual. There's a storm coming. I know. I mean, no, I, I checked the, you know, of course he checked the weather thing, and yeah, and let's see. Uh, let's see, what's that mean? Sky, Simmons, and... Right, yeah, yeah, um, Trip and Gemma try to talk about Dr. Z, and, you know, it's, oh, that guy's out of his damn... Oh, hey! <laughs> it's such an old joke, and I, I keep laughing at it, but, yeah. You know, and they talk about the, you know, and, and yeah, Sky says, this is pretty messed up, huh? And... Gemma's like, I was going to use the off-color one. We need to have a real conversation about your language. And, yeah, we, you know, Trip, I think it's Trip, you know, someone suggests, well, could, could this be like the Bermuda Triangle? And uh, we, we solved that back in the 80s. <laughs> and when Reyna mistakes 33 for May, I think an argument could be made that people would be paying attention to the young woman with a with a big facial scar, but it was kind of a cool moment, so the rule of cool applies. And, you know, at, at this point, I have to wonder, is it, like, broken to the point where they can't take it back off? Maybe if they do, it would, like, you know, they, they can't say for sure that it won't like mess up her face or something anyway it's a very cool facial scar I you know makes her very distinct looking and we meet uh, crap what was his name Sam Sam Koenig and he makes sure to get a lanyard for Reyna so all of them, all all of the Koenigs are obsessed with the lanyard thing, and both of them, both in this episode, both Billy and Koenig, both Billy and Sam say he's the shorter one, and and I appreciate like at first I thought, are there actually two, or is it just one of them? No, there you know there are scenes where you see both of them in the same scene. And let's see, yeah, and and um, Bobby talks to Simmons about Fitz, and yeah, good scene. Don't really have anything to add, and it's, yeah. So right, real quick, I I really appreciate that. You know, 
female characters now actually get to have depth and complexity. Like, just, yeah. You know, for so long, there there really wasn't that. I suppose that, I, I'm not sure this scene is the best example of that. Maybe more something like Jessica Jones, but yeah. And yeah, very cool when Sky fights 33. And it is this thing of like, yeah, um, no offense to Sky, but she's perhaps more enthusiasm than like expertise when it comes to, to fighting, whereas 33 had, ha has had extensive training. So yeah, appreciate that detail, that choice. And yeah, then you know, so this contact with yours, Diego, can we trust him? Well he's a politician, so no. And yeah, like Bobby and Colson, you know, talking about the options and talking about how he's unlike Fury in some choice ways. And Fitzsimmons finally talk again, which yeah. And, you know, I, I appreciate that it it would have felt forced if it happened way sooner than this. You know, the her coming back happened several episodes ago by now. But, yeah, you know, it was difficult for both of them. And, yeah, so, so Reyna and Skye talk some about the, you know, yeah. Dr. Z and the whole thing. And Reyna runs towards the, the Hydra agents, but it's just in time for the others to run over those Hydra agents. And and one of the Koenigs says, must be creepy having someone else running around with your face. And he walks up and we see one of the others. And one of them gets so excited making a pop culture reference that he spills hot coffee on his hand. Just, wow. And <laughs> it was pretty funny when, we, you know, Triplet's like, so how many of those are there? You know, he's, he's very intimidated by the fact that they, at the very least, there are three canings. They are at the very least triplets. So they have, you know, and, and Trip himself does not appear to be. So, you know, that's that's one way that he just might feel threatened by, by the Canix. But yeah, the thing with, you know, how many of you are there? Thirteen. Thirteen? <laughs> yeah, he completely bought it. I completely bought it. And... Yeah, and, and we learned, you know, Coulson did very much mean to put Sky and Reyna together, figuring that, you know, they, they'd open up to, to, yeah. And before they go on the mission, Sky seemingly hugs Coulson. By the end of this episode, we haven't seen, but I have to imagine she, like, could she plant a tracker on him, maybe? Or... Or like lifted something from him or something and used that as to strike. You know, she can be very sentimental, but I don't it doesn't feel to me you know, she can also be sneaky. So yeah, I d I don't know. It just I can't help but wonder. You know, I I didn't get that sense when she was with her uh, you know, her then boyfriend from Rising Tide in season one, for example. That seemed genuine. And <laughs> Max says he's not afraid of ghosts, but um, what was the story again? And, you know, yeah, Simmons is like completely ridiculous, and he points out, um, we live in a world with aliens, you know, and I, I figure, you know, yeah, like people read into it that it was supernatural, but it was probably like this alien scientific thing. And it's nice to see Fitzsimmons somewhat back. You know, one of them starts to say something, the other adds in stuff from their expertise. And... Let's see. 
see. Yeah, and and yeah, Reina talks about you know it's the Cree, that's the the aliens that are so yeah, very cool to have clear confirmation. And you know, they're not the only blue men in cosmic Marvel, but they are some very prominent Smurfs. And let's see. Yeah, I, I really loved when like Mac is being lowered and we just see like pitch black around him. And it's like from a filmmaking point of view, it's not even it's not super difficult. You know, you just you gotta have the, the wire rig and then like you know very very careful lighting so that you don't reveal anything and keep everything else black you know they they don't have to have like a, a deep hole then you know it doesn't take a huge amount of of space to do that but it just looks so like it's it's very effective you know and yeah white holes Hydra jets attack, you know, threaten to attack the bus. And let's see. Right, and yeah, uh, Mac, you know, touches the ground and like the, the map or something, you know, s symbols, alien symbols, form on his hands. Very, very cool and creepy, and he lets out like a half Evil Dead sh shout. You know, it's it's quite intense. Run, <laughs> and let's see, yeah, turns out it was Grant who found Reyna because the tracker was the you know. They were using the same kind of tracking code that he had, you know, he would have had access to when he worked for S.H.I.E.L.D. So, yeah, very cool. He's a history buff. What are you going to do? And, yeah, he offers Sky to take her to Dr. Z. And I really like the, the struggle to take down Mac, you know, even, like... Um, Bobby even gets out the, the two, you know, fighting sticks and hits him in the head, does absolutely nothing. Shooting him with icers does nothing. So, yeah, you know, clearly it is this, you know, that, that was, they had something similar with, ah, uh, was it, was it maybe Deathlock, I feel like, also couldn't be stopped by icer bullets. <clears throat> And ultimately, Mac falls into the hole, and Colson says to abandon him. And yeah, very cool cliffhanger ending. And the post credits is Daniel Whitehall telling Thirty Three to attack the the bus, and she does it. So yeah, very. I'm very excited to to see what happens next. Um, maybe I'll be able to do an episode tomorrow. Otherwise, it'll be Wednesday. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and the title. So, IMDb trivia. The title comes from the original English translation of Dante's Divine Comedy, and I do hear it's a laugh riot. Specifically, inscription over the gates of hell. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. And let's see. Yeah, Sky is wearing a flower dress in her dream, foreshadowing her link to Reyna. And I think that is all that I have to say about. See. Yeah, so. I, I honestly, yeah. Uh, fried plantains where they put crab in them. Yeah, wouldn't mind trying that. You know, after we save the world. <laughs>